All right, you must be excited. You clicked on the link and that means you've got an old bike and you're ready to get running, but you're not sure or you just want to refresh on what to do in order to get this thing back on the road. Now, the good news is normally if the bike is free, that is, you know, either you hit the starter or you can put the thing in gear. If you can make the engine move, if you can kick it over and get the engine to move it all, nine times out of 10, you're gonna be able to get the thing running fairly easily. So the way I always think of it is, if you find some, a bike that hasn't been ridden and you don't know the history, a lot of the times the reason the bike sat is because of an electrical gremlin is kind of my, you know, unless somebody just parked it and didn't ride it anymore, the big problem is gonna be electrical gremlin. But no matter what happens, you're gonna to have to start with the same process and really that's gonna come down to fluids. So, um, you know, oil obviously is going to need to be changed. Your fork fluid is going to need to be changed. Your brake fluid is going to need to be changed. Gas, I mean, that's a lot of times that's the worst. Um, it's going to get clogged down your petcock, so you need to pull your petcock, get it all clean. Carburetor, pull the bowl, go through the carburetor, make sure that it's all good and clean um, because that's going to be a couple of your big, biggest enemies. Now, if you have absolutely no idea about history and you want to make sure before you put any work into the bike and find out whether it's got any compression, then um, which would be another good test, is uh, to get yourself a compression tester. Now, we're going to re reference some uh, OTC tools through this little vid just to, to refresh you. They've got a whole new motorcycle catalog and it's got all kinds of really cool tools that'll help you no matter what you're doing. And this is like a wish list for a guy. A compression test is a good beginner because the four things you need, you need air, gas, spark, fuel. I mean, that's pretty much all you need in order to make this thing fire. But if you don't have, the, if you don't have air, which is if you don't have pressure, if you don't have compression, that's gonna mean you're gonna need some extensive engine work. All you're basically doing is screwing into where your spark plug was, pull your spark plug, spin the thing over. This is gonna stop at a certain point. And if you get the manual for your particular bike, it'll tell you about where that compression should be. So as long as you've got compression, man, you should be good to go. More than likely, you're gonna be able to get this thing running, no problem. Um, so, all right, we know we've got compression, that's good. We went through a fuel system. We're feeling good about that. And go ahead and get a new battery in the thing. All right, I'd say, you know, as long as you got new oil in it and everything, you're ready to test fire. And let's see if we've got spark. So now we know we've got compression. Let's see if we have spark. So a little, a lot of times what you can do is just pull this off, get yourself some new plugs while you're at it for sure. Take the plug, hold it onto here and uh, run it over and you'll be able to see spark going. Now another one while we're here, even though it's just, it's kind of a cool toy, um, brake fluid tester. So let's say you don't want to automatically change the fluid, turn this thing on, put it in there and it will check the pH of your brake fluid and see whether it's got too much water in it, which is a good indicator whether the brake fluid is bad or not. So, uh, what else, chain? Check your chain, you don't want that thing coming off, so make sure it's nice and free. Go ahead and replace it if it looks like it's really old and nasty. And really at that point, you know, you should be good to go. If you get no spark, there you go. Now you got an electrical problem, and that's gonna be a whole nother animal that uh, is gonna take a whole nother video in order to diagnose. But hopefully that helps you get started. Just to re refresh, the only thing that needs are, it needs pressure, air, fuel, spark, and you know what? The thing ought to light up for you and have a good time riding.